Welcome to Yolo, Texas, and this is our team of traveling Texans. Ride shotgun with us as we visit breathtaking views. Check out heart racing attractions. <laughs> and taste mouth-watering foods that only this great state has to offer. Look, tamale in there. I don't know why I was so surprised about that. Why, you ask? Well, to simply put it, yellow! You only live once, Texas. Hey y'all, welcome to Yellow Texas, your one and only source for exploring the great state of Texas. I'm your host, AC, and this week we've got an incredible show lined up for you. We'll take our frustrations out Hulk style at Dallas's Anger Room. We cheer on reigning World Series champs, the Houston Astros, and we walk the plank and take the plunge from 16 stories high. But first, we start off with something of a mystery, and I mean that literally, as we try out what's being billed as an escape room experience that's a cut above the rest. So let's send it over to Tessa. So maybe you're asking, what is an escape room? Well, it's the newest craze that combines puzzle solving, riddles, and hidden clues into a live action adventure game. And it's taking the country by storm. So here's the idea. You and your friends are trapped in a room and have to work together to try to escape. Each room has its own story, its own plot, its own unique experience that you get to participate in. So wish me luck. To tell me a bit more about what makes this particular escape room stand out above the rest, I met up with Jim, the owner here at Escape Hunt Houston. So Jim, to explain to me a little bit about what we are going to do today and what the escape hunt is all about. Okay, the escape hunt is specifically for a group of people. They could be friends, family, co-workers. They're locked in a room, which is a specially themed room. We take them back to some place, some time, and they are given 60 minutes to try to figure out how to get out of the room, solving clues and puzzles and working together as a team. Not gonna lie, I love puzzles, so I was pretty excited to get started. Which theme are we going to be doing today? You're going to be doing the Apollo 13 theme. We've called the game Houston, We've Had a Problem. Perfect. And it's based on the actual Apollo 13 mission. We made a game out of it. And uh, it's very, very realistic. We've had an astronaut play it. We've had people come up here from NASA, some flight controllers play it. And they all have complimented us on the job that we've done in creating the look and the feel of actual mission control. And so that's kind of one of the big differences here with Escape Hunt versus just uh, other escape rooms is that we pay a lot of attention to the experience that our guests are gonna have. First glance, you just see a bookshelf with some books on it. Secret compartment, what? No one's gonna find that there. Now, if you aren't a history buff, NASA may launch from Cape Canaveral, Florida, but Mission Control is located right here in Houston, and it's a huge part of the city's identity. It was here that the space shuttle and Apollo missions were coordinated, including the first successful trip to the moon on Apollo 11 and the ill-fated Apollo 13, which suffered from a catastrophic equipment failure that not only scrapped any chance they had of reaching the moon, it also threatened the lives of its crew. So 205,000 miles from the Earth, the crew had to work together with Mission Control to repair the spaceship and get it back to Earth, which in the end turned out to be just as incredible an accomplishment as reaching the moon. It took all the abilities of Apollo 13's astronauts and of everyone back at Mission Control to get the Apollo 13 back safely. But how would the YOLO Texas crew stack up in comparison? We're going to make history repeat itself and bring home the Apollo 13. What do you say, team? Failure is not an option. Onward! After a quick briefing from Jim and all of our roles aside, we were ready for a liftoff. Yeah, on this one. So, astronaut. <laughs> Ooh, it's chilly in here. Feels like I'm in space. Yeah, is this how cold space is? Four, three, Two, one, zero. We have commit and we have liftoff at 2.13. Three, uh-huh, plus that, but then we have to figure out how to convert it to moonlight. 
Houston, we have a problem. With only 60 minutes to complete our mission, things were getting tense. Zero, one, zero. Zero has to go here. What happened? Just open that right there. Okay. What's this? Okay, 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 launch access code. The launch access code, wait, it's this one, right? Is this up, okay, up, up. TLMCM. Up TLMCM, that's right. So many buttons, I don't know what to do. Oh wait. Yeah, primary. Primary. Yes, we're here, your number is 543. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. Uh, so, wait, wait, what, what? riddles and puzzles, not to mention the math, I actually broke a mental sweat. It was a bit challenging at first, but after a while, my team and I finally got the hang of it. Including their Eva suits. In the end, our mission required ingenuity, dedication, creative problem solving, and teamwork. And I know we hid most of the answers, but if you think we're gonna show you all the secrets of how to bring the Apollo 13 home safely, think again. That's something you're going to have to figure out for yourself. All in all, I left with not only a greater appreciation for Escape Hunt Houston, but for NASA and all of the dedicated men and women in the space program as well. Okay, Jim, that was so much fun, but give it to me straight. How did I do? Well, Tessa, you did pretty good in the fact that you got out in under 60 minutes. Yes. But you have not broken the room record. Dang it. So okay, what's, what's the record? 53 minutes. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. I mean, not too bad. I'm a TV host, I'm not a rocket scientist or anything, <laughs> so. And this is the only place where you can play this game, right? That's right. You know, our brand, Escape Hunt, has got locations all over the world. You can go to any location in the world and you will not play the same game. In Houston, this is the only place you can find this game. Well, thank you so much, Jim. It was a pleasure. Thank you, Tessa. And I will be back. I will see you soon. You are a great astronaut. Awesome, thank you. <laughs> yes. We escape! Planning your own trip to Escape Hunt in Houston? Go to escapehunt.com to learn more. Hey y'all, welcome back to Yellow Texas. Okay, so this show has visited quite a few amusement parks, but I've gotta say, I'm not sure we experienced anything quite like our next destination. I mean, this place has some of the most extreme rides in the entire country, but luckily for us, it's located right in our own backyard. So what do you say? You guys ready for a good old fashioned adrenaline rush? Welcome to Zero Gravity. Located right in the heart of Dallas, this one-of-a-kind family throw park has been wowing adrenaline junkies for over 25 years. It has unforgettable, heart-pounding rides that will keep you at the edge of your seat. And to find out what I was getting myself into, we met up with general manager Matthew Frost. You're getting the most unique thrill set that you can here. For instance, the bungee jump, that's all about you. You know, once you get to yeah. the edge, you've got to jump off. Then you got the sky coaster, you go to the top of the tower, and then you're gonna fly. Then you've got the slingshot, blast off what we call it here. 130 foot towers, they're gonna launch you 150 feet in the air in a matter of seconds. Uh. Uh, it's all about the acceleration. Yeah. It's crazy. Uh, then you've got the nothing but net. It is kind of exactly what it sounds. Yeah. We're gonna take you up to the top of the 160 foot tower and release you. And then uh, of course the last one we got is the scraper. Basically it's 165 feet in the air, think of a propeller, 70 miles an hour, no big deal. Yeah, <laughs> you're just going higher and higher with each ride and I'm picking my nails each time. Like I'm like super <laughs> nervous right uh, now. <laughs> people love them, they're great. You don't go in on any ride uh, without being double checked, sometimes triple checked. Uh, everything that we do here at Zero Gravity has to be safe. Oh, uh, that's so good to hear. Woo! I'm sweating. <laughs> I'm sweating bullets, but it's all for a good thing. So oh, yeah, definitely. I'm ready to try some. Do you mind showing me around? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's go. First thing first, what are we going to go hit up? Uh, we're going to go to the sky coaster. Okay. We're going to take you to the top of the, the tower. It's 110 feet. You'll pull the ripcord and uh, basically simulate flying. So. All right. Let's do it. Wish me good luck. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
So uh, I've been trying to get my producer to come out and do one of these rides with me, and this is the one I sucked her into. So Jackie, you ready to get suited up? <laughs> this orange knob right here is your rib cord. Okay. You're gonna give it a pull when you, we say three, two, one, fly, all right? This is gonna be so much fun. You're doing this for the show? It's called YOLO, right? Right, YOLO. Lean against the yellow padding, fall for it. You're gonna say yellow before you pull it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just still producer, still producer. <laughs> Props to all the superheroes that can fly, because that was ridiculous. I uh, can't wait to see the footage of us flying. And I can't wait to see the next ride you're gonna be on, because I'm gonna watch from the bottom. <laughs> Nothing but men. Nothing with basketball related on this one. No, 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 no basketball. You ready? Let's go. Let's do it. Step right on over. Now we put a helmet on you and there's a helmet in there? There's a helmet. Oh my god. Safety first. <laughs> yeah, you got it. That's right. Okay. All right. Chin down. Arms in. Knees bent. Just like that. Like a ball. Just kind of like a ball. You're going to want to stay in that position the entire time. Do not move from that position. <laughs> So there's a lot of question marks in that, but uh, hey, you only live once. Absolutely. <laughs> Ready? Uh, Three, down here, one, like Selena. Three, two, one. This one, is not normal. This is not normal. This is not normal. Three, one, five, four, three, two, two one. one. Bungee! Go 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 go! You got it, don't hesitate, you got it, you got it, don't, you got it! Ah! Woo! <laughs> great job, great job! Yeah, oh, yeah! Yeah! Way to do it, I did it. <laughs> Y'all <Yeah>, wanna... <laughs> Woo, I can do it. Yeah? Anyway. That was good, that was good. Y'all, today was so amazing. These are incredible rides. I don't think I've ever screened that much in my entire life. You have to come out and check out Zero Gravity Thrill Park if you want in on an adrenaline rush. I'm gonna go take a breather. We're gonna head back to the studio. See y'all. Think you can handle five rides of pure adrenaline? Click on gojump.com for hours and ticket specials. Hey y'all, welcome back to the show. What if I told you there's a place where you could go to de-stress and really get some frustration worked out? You might think I'm talking about a spa or maybe even a gym, but not this time. That's because we're headed north of Dallas to check out the Anger Room, a place where you can satisfy your appetite for destruction and then leave a whole new different person. Yeah, I promise I'm not crazy. We're at the Anger Room, which advertises itself as a place to redirect your frustrations, break some stuff, and leave perfectly happy. Let's go take a look around. <laughs> so here at Anger Room, you can literally break anything. You'll find staged rooms ready for you to let off a little steam and wreck as much destruction as you can imagine. And help get us loose, we met up with owner and founder, Donna. 
how did you come up with this idea? Because this is pretty neat. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I'm actually from Chicago. So when I was 16 years old, yeah. I was trying to help with the overpopulation of our jail system. So I said, well, if they had a place for people like that, then the world would be a better place. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, when I started college, I moved here to Dallas. Three years later, the anger room was born. <laughs> Very cool. OK, I'm excited to get into that room and just go to town on some of the things. Yeah. Um, so what should I expect whenever I do enter the room? You should expect a workout. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, it, it's going to be an intense workout. Um, but besides the workout, you'll get some good stress relief. So you may say, I'm not angry right now, but something always happens. <laughs> yeah. It always does. It's like something in our head, it clicks yeah. and that's it. And you, you didn't even know you had it and yeah. it comes out. So that's what's going to happen today. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> okay, lastly, uh, I did see some of the weapons I can choose from, but do you mind telling our viewers what are some of the options? Well, some of the weapons that you can get are like sledgehammers, two by fours, crowbars. Our weapons change every day yeah. and we just let you get creative with it and pick what you want and come in here and destroy stuff. So here's how it works. Step one, safety wear. Step two, safety tips. Um, don't hit anyone and you're good. And step three, choose your own weapon. Here we go, let's do this. Now I'm not really an angry person, but when life hands you a crowbar, there's just some things you've got to do. So you have 25 minutes. Okay. I'm gonna time you. One, two, three, go! to do. Finally! All right, that's gonna do it for us here at Anger Room. All in all, I had so much fun, let out some stress. I didn't even know I had had a great big workout, even lost some eyelashes in the process. But I'm gonna take a breather for a little bit, catch my breath before we head back to studio, and just be happy again. See y'all later. If you've got a little frustration you want to work out, or if you just want to break some stuff, head on over to angerroom.com. Hey y'all, welcome back to Yellow Texas. Next up, we are heading back to Houston to explore one of America's favorite pastimes at one of the greatest ballparks in the country, Minute Maid Park. Not to mention it's home to the reigning World Series champs, Go Strohs. We are here at Minute Maid Park, home of the Astros, and it's the Rangers versus the Houston Astros, where the Lone Star Series is in full swing. And of course, we had to come out and check out a game, but what's more exciting are all the renovations that have happened over in center field. So what do you say? We go ahead and check it out. Replacing Houston's Astrodome in 2000, this gorgeous park offers a retractable roof natural grass playing field and a seating capacity of over 40,000, including club seats and luxury suites. First up, we talked to Reed Ryan, the president of the Astros and son of one of Texas's most famous ball players, Nolan Ryan. So can you tell us a little bit about what has been added here and expanded here to Minute Maid Park? Yes, yeah, so over the last five years, the Astros have put about $45 million into redoing Minute Maid Park. And the newest part of those additions is what we're sitting in right now, which is our center field addition. And we added basically a four-story building that has everything from a field suite to the, the Bud uh, patio where we are now, to a new batter's eye with seats on top, to a Torchy's Taco, Shake Shack, a TV studio for Root Sports, uh, our television partner. And it's just really created a sense of community here. It's a real fun spot that people can come gather, have a drink, and just enjoy the crowd. Next up, we took a quick walk around the park's gigantic concourse, finding there's a little something for everyone around every corner, including an amazing baseball-themed play area just for kids. But a ballpark wouldn't be a ballpark without all those dedicated fans. So we met up with just a few of them, asking what they loved most about their new and approved stadium. So what is your favorite part about an Astros game? 
the home runs and the grand slams. I mean, you can't beat it. You're watching the best team in baseball, the 2017 World Series champions, some of the best young talent in the league, and we got the retractable roof. It's a good place to come and have a good time and relax. It's more about the people, as much about the people as it is about the game, really. So, the, you know, especially on Dollar Hot Dog Night. So how good were these hot dogs everyone was talking about? Well, I set out for the food court to find out for myself. Not to mention a very impressive array of some pretty tasty craft beers, which these fans seem to thoroughly enjoy. And the dogs, well, they didn't disappoint. Neither did the beer, making this experience even better than I imagined. But I knew I couldn't leave the ballpark without taking a little piece of it home with me, so I headed for the pro shop for the perfect souvenir. All right, now that the game is over and I'm reflecting over the night I have, I had made some really great friends along the way. I ate some delicious food. Hey, even got myself some brand new gear. I guess you can consider myself an Astros fan from here on out. But overall, I am so glad that it came out to Minute Maid Park because this one was a night for the books. Can't beat it anywhere else. Want to check out an Astros game for yourself? Go to MLB.com slash Astros to learn more. All right, that's going to do it for us here today on Yellow Texas. Do us a favor and check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And remember, it's a big world, so get out and explore it. You know what they say, you only live once, Texas. We'll see y'all next time.